Welcome to match commentary of Dartford versus Tunbridge Angels here at Prince's Park on Saturday afternoon. The Darts are looking to make it six in a row in the National South, following on from the victory at Dulwich a week ago. For all the Darts, then Joe Young keeps his place in goal. Max Statham, Connor Essam, Tom Bonner and the returning Sam Odadu complete the back four. Jordan Winter, Jack Smith and Luke Allen in the midfield three. And a front three of Marvin Herschel, Charlie Sheringham and Samir Carruthers on the bench for the Darts. Alex Wall, Kieran Murta, David Radari, Tom Ray and Pierre Foncou. For the visitors, Jonathan Henley starts in goal, Jaden Crowhurst, Craig Braham Barrett, Scott Wagstaff, Sonny Miles, Joe Tyree, Lewis Garrow at seven, Jeremy Santos, Louis Collins the number nine, Ruben Soares Jr., Joseph Turner the number 11 completing the Tunbridge 11 on the bench, Kevin Manuel, Thomas Fagg, Solomon Teta Addy, Finley Rutherford and Dylan Gavin completing the lineup and squad for the visitors. Tunbridge are having a reasonably good season. They sit ninth place in the table. The darts sit fourth, but a win today will take them above Chelmsford and into third as Tunbridge get the game underway and immediately send the ball long out onto the right flank where Sam Odado is going to be involved immediately as the number 11 Joseph Turner takes a snapshot off immediately and it's comfortably over Joe Young's crossbar, but a quick start from the visitors. Quarter of an hour gone, nil-nil it remains. And the ball with Max Statham, who will take this throw in down the line. Sheringham dropping in to flick it on Carruthers, then flicks it into the path of Marvin Herschel, who's in down the right-hand side, Marvin Herschel. Chance for a shot in the near post, if he can get it away. And it's tipped wide by Henley, I'm not sure it was going in anyway. Sam Odadu got the longest throw in the Dartford side and that's one plus to him being back available for Alan Dowson and here is that long throw as he launches it into the area it's flicked on by Tom Bonner and it came for Herschel and I think it was the Tunbridge defender Brian Barrow who got his head to it before Marvin Herschel and put it behind a few of the players in the penalty area before now Samir Carruthers can take he's got Statham, Bonner, Essam sharing them all in there and it comes from Carruthers it's a really good one and hooked in goalwards off the line. I think Luke Allen can shoot and blocked. Somehow it stays out. Back with Carruthers again on the left-hand side. Leaves it for Smith to cross and it deflects off the Tunbridge defender and behind for another corner. Which Jack Smith looked as though he was going to take quickly before allowing Carruthers to come across and take. I'm not quite sure how it stayed out. Looked as though Charlie Sheringham was going to have a tap in before it was hooked off the line but in it comes again from Carruthers this one's comfortably headed away by Garrow at the near post but it will come for Luke Allen now into Samir Carruthers again he's got two blue shirts out there with him Luke Allen on the overlap looks to burst past them both Samir Carruthers checks back onto his right foot down by the corner flow plays it into the path of Luke Allen who gets his foot to it now Odadu hooks a ball goalwards and Herschel coming in at the back post it'll fall for Charlie Sheringham and blocked by Brian Barrett again Somehow, some way, it remains nil-nil. Winter makes a good recovery tackle and it's now with Carruthers over on the left flank. Crowhurst picking him up and now with Odadu gives it back to Carruthers who looks to play it forward towards Marvin Herschel who spins in behind Brown Barrett but he gets his head to it. Only as far as Luke Allen on the left-hand side. He's got Odadu to his left. He comes inside though, Allen, before checking back and finding Sam Odadu. Advancing before whipping a good ball in. And it's off the toe of the number 16. Before Luke Allen's able to force a corner. And it comes from the right boot of Carruthers. And it's a good one and it's all the way in. Samir Carruthers has scored directly from a corner. It's another piece of Samir Carruthers brilliance. And I've not got a clue how he's managed it, but it's got in from the, at the far post over Jonathan Henley, who looked to flap it away, but it finds its way into the far corner, and Darford take the lead on the half an hour mark. The Tunbridge defender for a throw to the visitors, which Wagstaff takes quickly, headed away, and Foncou then hooks it back forward. Essam gets a foot in as Tunbridge to bring it away now. Winter then. Gets a good challenge in. And he can roll it to Statham who clears. Pressure from Fonku. This is a mistake out of Tunbridge and Dartford will get it back now. Smith. Murta. 
Now into Pierre Foncou, gives it to Jack Smith. He's got Samir Carruthers running through to his left. If he can find him, and he will find him. It's Samir Carruthers with a chance to shoot, and he slices his shot on his weaker side. Dartford's left back will launch it clear. Sheringham gets up for it. Unable to bring it down on that occasion, and Tunbridge get it back. Good spell of pressure this for the visitors. And Turner has it on the left-hand side. Onku and Winter out to meet in the ball. Flashes across the face of goal again. And all the way through to Sam Odardo again. He finds Samir Carruthers now. Just about gets the better of Fag. Able to knock it into Murta. And that's a really poor pass from Kieran Murta, which is comfortably picked off. And Tunbridge will get it back. Tyree has it. Knocks it into Wagstaff. Dartford under pressure for the first time, really, this afternoon. Turner who's been the real danger man in recent moments for the visitors and he flashes a shot just wide and it looks like for a moment it might just creep in that far corner. Saw him cause real trouble in the first half with a long throw. Going to look to launch one in here and then it comes from Odadu. Essam and Fag and it's eventually headed across the face of goal by Essam still in there. Still they can't clear Tunbridge, eventually it's out now. Winter then gets the first contact. Smith then hooks the ball back in. Essam lets it run in the end. Carruthers flicks it on for Sheringham to shoot. Brilliant save and forced home by Pierre Foncou who doubles the dance lead off the bench and to give Dartford a two goal cushion surely now. Sheringham's shot was brilliantly saved at the first time of asking. It wasn't fully cleared and Pierre Foncou forced it home. And after a spell of Tunbridge pressure, the Darts have fought through it. And they've managed to get themselves a second goal. 20 minutes then to play, Dart for two, Tunbridge nil. Brian Barrett hooks it forward. Essam gets the first contact, but it will come now into the area for a chance straight away for Tunbridge up the other end. Still not clear, it's off the line twice, I think, and it's still not away. Turner picks it up, Foncou then tracks back to get a foot in and can clear it for the Darts. Forward by Joe Young. Not a great kick and it will loop down in the middle of the centre circle and off Winter and now for Santos on the left hand side. Tunbridge coming forward once more. Plays in to Garrow who can turn to shoot. Good foot in from Essam at the first attempt. Santos then goes down and the referee gives a penalty. Looked to dive to me. Certainly didn't look a penalty from up here. He went down very easily. It was more of a shoulder to shoulder than anything. 12 minutes to play, 2-0 the score, but Tunbridge have the penalty. Can Joe Young pull something out here? Oh, he skied it! It's a terrible penalty! Joseph Turner has smashed it way over the crossbar. Which Jack Smith will take on to Kieran Murta, looks to give it back to Smith, in the end it'll come for Turner to race away down the left side. Plays it forward and picked up by Garrow. Hooks the ball in behind. That'll race along the now damp Prince's Park turf and through to Joe Young. Who rolls it out and the referee will blow a full-time whistle. Six in a row for the Darts. They have turned their season around in some style. It was a bit of a patchy opening to the season. But they've won six on the spin. And they find themselves third in the National South.